All right, good afternoon everyone. Uh, this afternoon we are going to put in the jewels on the Fiat and going to get the rototiller which is uh, down by the silage bales and we're going to start doing some uh, contouring. We've got a few bits and pieces to do where the cows are parked, some holes, so yeah we'll uh, get to it. This uh, set of jewels that I've got um, they are an early set of snap lock jewels, I think, because they don't have, they're not snap, they don't have the levers to uh, snap them on. You've got a nut, you've got to tighten up. Still the same hook, and I think whatever it is. Whatever it is. Oh, they add quite a bit of traction putting them on. So hopefully you can see this but that's all it is, it's just a hook and a, a nut that you tighten up. So these are actually sitting on the outer, that's the bead where the bead of the tyre sits. In a normal snap lock jewels either go in on this rib or there. Not 100% sure but uh, yeah, they do work. Um, I, when I brought them, I had to cut this this section down so they weren't, because otherwise they were going to be real wide, quite a big gap. Um, and what happens is you tighten them up and they do move a little bit on the rim. They've got a, a little bit of movement. But what happens is once you skid once in the, the outside, once the, the rim doesn't, they slightly twist only fractionally like it's over exaggerated my hand but they they twist a little bit and it tightens it up really tight so when you when it comes to getting them off you actually got to get a search hammer and just give these a tap and you can undo them quite easily otherwise uh, they are quite tight but yeah it's too long to get fitted up but uh she's a beast once they're on all right let's do the other side but when i'm fitting the jewels up i run the run this inside tire up on just a piece of 4 2 just gets it up off the ground and then you, you lay your, the, the um, snap block, lay, lay the jewel into the bottom, put the first one on and then you, you roll it up so it actually worked out well before because that there was right at the bottom but it'll be alright with it like that, she'll be right. So we've got the jewels on. We're ready to go and put the uh, rototiller on. So I don't know if my foot is a foot, but it is. I'd say about 10 foot wide. So it still fits through most gateways, but yeah, she looks pretty good. Right, so we're going to uh, get the rototiller on and we'll get to it.
that's it for today. Better give the old girl a break. It's uh, pretty warm today. My tractor just, just started to warm up a little bit then. It may need a bit more water. It wasn't getting concerning. I just noticed the uh, temperature started to move a little bit. So, always pays to check it out. So, uh, got to. Uh, I just did this half or two thirds because there's a water pipe somewhere that goes up there not up the far side but up the middle there I'm just not going to worry about that so um, I'll probably go over this here one more time just to break up the sods a bit more and then I've started on that uh, far paddock down there probably just over halfway through that one and then uh, got one more paddock number six which uh, get to later tomorrow go over it um, so if I don't have time if I don't have time to get over the far one down there tomorrow then I'll just not worry about it I'll just direct drill it um, the main bits that I wanted to get done was this paddock just here and the one down there because uh, it's a little bit from the springers so just give it a bit of a tidy up. Other than that, we're all done for the day. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you another time. Bye.